Thank you. Uh, to, I'd like to thank the, the, the Bali family for an excellent uh, conference so far and uh, excellent, uh, excellent hosts. So thank you for that. Thank you, Eric, for the introduction. And it's uh, really nice to be here uh, amongst our peers as well. There's uh, excellent companies here. And uh, it's nice to, to be with you uh, at this event. Um, last night at the gala, if uh, those of you that weren't there, uh, it was a re really nice gala. And uh, I, in, in conversation, I, I brought up the fact that I was going to be speaking over the, the lunch hour here. And uh, the gentleman pitied me to some degree. He says, oh, Peter, Peter, you're, 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 it's a, that's a tough one. I said, well, what do you mean? He says, everybody's eating. Everyone's focused on their food, and they get sleepy, and they're drinking wine. <laughs> I said, well, what do, you, what do you think I should do? He says, well, you, you need to be bold, he says. You need to be bold. You need to be uh, courageous in what you say, provocative. And provoca pro provocative resonated with me. And so, if you will, I will try to present uh, my company, our company, Alex, the, uh, the chairman in the back there. Uh, I will try to be provocative in what I deliver. And I'd like to start it off with talking about the gold price and what I believe is going to happen over the next four, five, or six years. I believe we're at the starting point, the beginning here, of a tremendous gold bull market. I believe that the gold price will continue to go higher over this period. What is the timeline? How quick? How slow? We don't know. That we don't really have a control of. What are the catalysts to necessarily move us and propel us forward? We don't really know what that is either. There's many of them. Is it what's happening in the US? What's happening here in Europe? Global economics. We could go on and on with that. But I tell you one thing that I am, I am passionate about, and I'm not a gold bug. I'm not a gold bug. But what I'm passionate about, I really believe that the gold price is going to go a lot higher. 2,500, 5,000, I want to be passionate here. Let's go for 10,000. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I tell you, there's one word, there's one word that is going to move it to 10,000. It's not a catalyst. It's nothing to do with the, it's to do with the markets. It's one word. Greed. Greed. There is too much money to be made by not, too much money to be lost by not moving it to 10,000 at some point. And the people in position to have influence on that price will move it to 5,000, maybe not 10, but 5,000, 10,000, because the money will be made there. Big money. So, bringing it back now down to Nexus, we are a gold exploration company. We feel excited about the next four or five years. And we believe as an exploration company, uh, early stage, moving to development, to advanced stage, that we have positioned ourselves very well in the marketplace. Eric said uh, really well uh, about management, management, management. And we agree that it is all about management. We have solid management. Uh, and the management really focuses not necessarily around myself or around Alex, but it, it focuses around our, ge our geologists. And Warren Robb is uh, our chief geologist. He came from Rocks Gold. Rocks Gold has done very well in Burkina Faso, very, very well. And I learned early on that I want to support myself with individuals that make our team better. And that's what, that's what Warren does. He had a network and, a, and, and a, uh, a network of connection into Burkina Faso that allowed us to pick up the right properties. There's many properties out there, and I learned early on that I could review 43101s and review overviews on properties until I'm blue in the face. They all look fantastic. I'm not a geologist. You need the right geologist with the right access to the right properties, and that's what will make you successful in exploration. And we have that. Our goal is to become, a, to become the number one preeminent exploring company in Burkina Faso. We are looking to acquire and continue to acquire properties in the area. Uh, we want to successfully develop these. Exploration is our strategy. And grade is king, size is paramount. 
Yes, gentlemen, size does matter. <laughs> Thought I'd get more from that one. <laughs> All right. Our focus is grade and size. So we'll move on to, again, uh, Warren Robb, the leadership. I spoke to Warren Robb already. Some corporate highlights. Uh, our stock price over the last, actually the last three to four months has increased 500%. It's a reflection of the quality of our property and the team that we have in place and the market. This, what this says to you, what this translates is the market is receptive, the market understands what we're doing. We were generally, and I think we can say a struggling company at four and five cents. We traded up to a high of 35, and now we're back down to about 28, 27, as things settle, they always settle themselves down a bit. But the, that's not easily done in our market. And so, but when you have the right property, the right team, and maybe I, I would like to add to what Eric says about management, 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 I'd like to say timing, timing, timing. Timing, timing, timing can make bad management look very good. So always keep that in mind. So our timing is very, very good. Our management is good, and it's put us in a nice position of, a, of, a, of stock appreciation. If you feel you've missed the boat, don't. Please. We're at 25, 30 cents. Our market cap is $30 million. We have a long way to go. I'm being told by our investors, one particular investor who has backed us for the last two financings, Peter, you need to understand your company is a $150, $200 million company, and don't forget that. And Alex and I believe that. Well, this is very compelling and bold. We did some chip sampling on our property, uh, on the Nianguela property, and we came back with 3,000 grams on a chip sample off of a vein. Put that out, that was the, sort of the catalyst that got the stock going. What that says is that there's extremely high grade on our property, and high grade makes the economics very, very good in our business. You want high grade. That's special. I'm not saying that large tonnage, uh, low grade large tonnage, it, you can't be successful and profitable, but there's many of them out there. High grade deposits are rare. The economics go way down. And in my example, I'll point to Rocks Gold. Rocks Gold average is 16 grams. Their million ounce deposit is 16 grams a ton. Rocks Gold. Their all in cost are coming now under 500. There, there's no one close to them. All the other companies in Burkina Faso are around seven, 750. So with high grade here, our profit margins start to look very attractive. We're very early, but we did some drilling as well. So we backed that up with some drilling to say, well, the drilling should complement the sampling that we're doing. And it did. We came back with 26 grams over five meters, 58 meters deep, very shallow. That's very good. This was the first drill program we did on the property. These were the first nine holes. We hit mineralization in eight of the nine holes. Well, the geophysics must have helped you. No, we didn't do any geophysics. We did the sampling, and their sampling was focused where the artisanal miners are mining, the local miners are. They build these shafts, they go down 30, 40 meters in the saprolite. They stop, they cannot get into the hard rock. So they stop in the saprolite, 30, 40 meters. And they're pulling out. They're feeding their families. They're feeding their families on recoveries of 15 to 20 percent. Some of our grab samples were from the dumps, and we're getting 40 grams in the dumps. It's unbelievable. So that's, that was our focus. We identified where these shafts were, where the activity was, and it's a very simple process. At an angle, we go down under it. We go down under it about 100, 150 feet. Our operational objectives, uh, I've spoken to this to some degree. We, you know, we want to develop multi-million ounce high-grade deposits. We want to be active in exploration with ongoing news. But I should, I should add here, uh, that, oh, and actually the slide before. We recently just raised $2 million. So we're also funded to, to go into our phase two of drilling. And uh, having said that, we are cognizant that $2 million in our business can go very fast, so we are, uh, we are looking and thinking ahead about springtime, early summer. What does a raise look like? 
What, what does a, an additional raise look like? And hopefully we can do it at a higher level here. This is a great slide. There's 50 million ounces of gold there in Burkina Faso. I don't know if it's all of it. I'm going to be provocative and suggest that in the next 15 to 20 years, that inventory will double to 100 million, another 50 million ounces. What makes us special in this map? We don't have a resource. There's no resource next to Bubalu, Niangoela. What makes us special on this map? I'll tell you, the only company that's high grade there, as far as I understand, is Rocks Gold, the 16 grams. Niangoela has the potential to be a Rocks Gold, to be a Yuramoko. That's the mine, the Yuramoko mine. That makes us special in Burkina Faso. Uh, Burkina Faso. Quartz veins are unique. That's not typical of, the, of this area, of this country. And if you notice the Bermian greenstone, that's where all the deposits tend to be. We're right in the middle on, on the major one, right there, just uh, north of the uh, city center. Some of our, our peers, True Gold is no longer a peer. There's M&A activity in our country. This is another attraction for, for us as an explorer. We want to be involved in areas where there's M&A activity, merger and acquisition activity. True Gold last year bought out uh, was purchased for 250 million by Endeavor Mines. Endeavor is very active in the area. Hey, potentially they could be a suitor. We're not hanging our hats on that. If we need to go towards mining, we'll move towards mining. We'll do what we need to do. But that could be a good fit. I, I've spoken lots to Rocks Gold. Orozone is another, another player in the area. <coughs> Ian Guella. This is an interesting one. We, again, we look at the samples. Look at the samples here. Uh, the, there's the 3,000. Sample 6, sample 7, sample 8, 23 grams, 400 grams, 50 grams. We did some rab drilling. The, primary remain, the, the vein is open in all areas. We've established 200 meter strike length at this point. 800 meters to the west of us is another, on strike, in the shear zone, is another active area of the local miners. So we believe there's continuity. We at least have a kilometer. I'd like to say there's, there's strong potential for more. We're, that's what we're observing with just observation. So we haven't gone in there to do the work. It's just that's where we're at. But there's potential to be more than a kilometer here for sure. So again, the hole that we did, the, the hole number eight returned 26 over five meters. Included in that was 100, 132 grams over one meter. So again, that complements the sampling we, we were doing. There's some more of the diamond uh, drilling results. Eight of the nine hit, as I, as I said. I won't go too deeply into the boobaloo because I, I think I'm kind of re reaching up, pushing up against time here. But again, an exceptional property. This was the original property we grabbed. It, was an, it was, used to be a rocks gold property. That was our interest through our contacts, through Warren. We were able to, uh, to uh, get this property. There's some great uh, uh, long inter intercept lengths of 30, 40 meters. The grade isn't as sensational as Niangoela but we do have some high grade. We have 80, 80 grams over a third of a meter, five grams, uh, I can't remember the, the length, it, it might be there, five grams over two, 12 over four. Again, it's, it's excellent, it's excellent. There's some, some pictures there in the shear zone. Historical results, I won't spend too much time on that. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go, let's move on to, uh, okay, next 18 months. And uh, Gino said it well, we're the same. Drill, drill, drill. That's our focus. We want to drill out a resource. Uh, you want to lock in shareholder value. It's a $30 million company. What holds us at 30, what gets us to 60, 90, 120? You drill out a resource, you continue to, you, you continue, continue to define the size of the resource and to drill out and get to a resource estimate. So that's our focus over the next 18 months. 
We have uh, just over 120 million shares out. Enterprise value is incorrect. It's actually 30 million. This is how our, our stock has performed uh, compared to the uh, Van Eck uh, Vectors Junior Gold Miners ETF. And uh, so that's uh, not too exciting along the red. We've outperformed the sector. The sector is noticing us. We're getting, uh, we're getting investment into our finances and investment into the market from Europe, from Dubai, uh, from North America. We're listed on the OTC. We're also listed on the Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, after, after today, we're going to Zurich. I'm going to Frankfurt. I'm going to London. I'm going to Paris. It's a busy time for us. I'd just maybe like to close with giving you some perspective on what excellent property selection and good team can do for you and for your company. The Niangoela property, the first year payment and stock cost us $10,000 US and 50,000 shares. Absolutely. That, and if you're not sure, that's not a lot at all. But with that, what, was our, what has been our initial return? 20 to $25 million in market cap. I will take that any day, <laughs> hands down, as I'm sure you would. So there you go. Thank you for your time. I hope uh, I was uh, provocative and you enjoyed it.